High school football time once again here on Comcast Cable Channel 3. Hi, everybody. Bob Tattered along with Bill Falsetti and Mike Pavlin. Lebanon for the playoff game between the Riverview Raiders and the Manessa Greyhounds. The pregame show is being brought to you today by True Value Hardware. True Value is the official hardware store of the NFL. And help is just around the corner at your local Thrift True Value hardware store. Thrift True Value, you'll find the local store on Route 50. Help is just around the corner, and uh, for today, I'm not sure where the help is going to be coming from for the Riverview Raiders, or even if they need it. <laughs> nice lead in there, Bob. Hopefully they won't need it. And well, if they do, all they got to do is call True Value, John, Nick, Kathy, they got a slew of people up there that'll take care of things. The Manesson Greyhounds have just taken the field, and uh, Riverview this afternoon, of course, will be wearing their home all-black uniforms. Riverview at 11-0. They are last year's WPIAL runner-up and the only remaining unbeaten team in Class A because uh, Manesson comes into the game at 10-1. Uh, the Raiders are making their third playoff appearance in five years. And Joe Manesson at 10 and 1. Yeah, they had a pretty good season, Bob. Actually, they uh, they only lost to one game, and uh, that was an exhibition game. I believe the team was from somewhere out in West Virginia. If memory serves me correctly. Yeah. Lindsay School. They lost that game 29-26, and uh, that's the only blemish on their record. Manesson is the number four seed and the Tri-County South champions and they are making their eighth playoff appearance in nine years. They have lost in their last three semifinal appearances. Both teams, by the way, Riverview and Manesson, have recorded five shutouts on the campaign. Riverview has shut out Manaka, Carmichael, Duquesne, Springdale. Manesson has shut out Charleroi, California, and the uh, Maple Town team, as well as Carmichael's and Frazier in the playoffs. Riverview over Frazier 57 to 21 and Manesson defeated Duquesne 13 to 6. That Frazier game was probably one of the most weird episodes in high school football that we've seen in a long time. And that's principally because Frazier pulled their team from the field. Four minutes to play. I guess it's one we won't forget. No, I certainly won't forget it, Bob. I, uh, I just don't understand uh, the logic of pulling your team off the field. It's one thing, it, uh, you know, for a score to be one way, but uh, Frazier was uh, thoroughly, thoroughly battered and bruised and beaten to a pulp the entire ball game. And to pull your team off the field with about four or five minutes remaining showed uh, the lack of class as far as I'm concerned. Co-captains are coming. Papa, who wears number 74, Zach Zrimsik, who wears number 6, and uh, Mr., uh, I think it's, uh, is it Dujak 15, or is that, uh, no, that's 73, that's uh, Theo Ficaris. We'll meet the officials uh, a little bit later on here. Riverview in the black, as we had mentioned, and uh, in the white. Uh, Manesson has won the toss. They have elected to receive. And uh, we will return with more on our uh, broadcast here in a moment after this from True Value. As we mentioned, uh, Manesson has won the toss. They have elected to receive. Our pregame show today brought to you by True Value Hardware. True Value, the official hardware store of the NFL. And True Test is the official paint supplier to the NFL. Thrift True Value, where help is just around the corner. Right after the opening kickoff, uh, we'll let you know who will be uh, doing what here position-wise. Let's take a very quick look at the... tee up the football. No! 
There are the officials for today's game. The uh, referee, Joe Zuccarelli, Wayne Freed, the umpire, Dave Paparulo, the uh, linesman, the line judge, Pat Fay, Charlie Boxage is the field judge, and the back judge is Frank Campbell. Foreman Essen to the near side is uh, Ron Ford. And to the far side is uh, Brian Lowther and Orlando Bellas. And we're ready to go. Riverview defending the goal to our left. Balisarios kick sails down. It is taken at approximately the 15-yard line and return up the far side of the field, short of the 35-yard line. And Riverview makes the play. The tackle made by Fritz Tamburo on the runner, I believe, which was Ronza Ford, number 26. There's Ford at the 25. And uh, let's take a very quick look at the uh, starting Manesson uh, lineup. It is Lowther straight. Pedro, the tight ends in the backfield. Chad Jampredo, Pedro rather, the quarterback. Balsic, Smith, Jones, and Majors are the backs. And the split in, the last guy that I named there. First play out of the box, right up the middle, and the Raiders jam it up real quick. Justin Here's, Papa came up quickly to make that stop. Let's take a look at the Raider defense. Skill and Papa, Pekaris, Sioras, Rimsik, and Dujak from the uh, one end of the uh, side to the other. Uh, Rich Walsh, Erdeljack, Tamburo, Shulo, and Belisario. A gain of about uh, two on the play. Second and eight. Jim Pedro sends uh, a man in motion. And... Uh, a flag on the play. Hey, the wide out for Manesson moved. Yeah, top part of the screen you see moved there before the snap. Second and uh, 13. And the ball is brought back to the 32-yard line. Brad Jones comes out of his uh, fullback slot and shifts here to the left side. Now goes in motion. Jan Pedro hands off, and the give is to Belsic. Belsic turns the corner, and the Raiders make the play. Franchula, number 24, brought him down near midfield. Let's take a look at the replay. Got a first down. Brad Jones in motion, and the give goes to Balsic. And T.J. Skillen got a block there and then was brought down by Fran Shula, who stuck his hands Actually, up. Actually, uh, Belisario was also there on the stop. So right at the 50-yard line. And again, Jones in motion resets. Once again, and to this time... Zach Zrimsic is on uh, Josh Balsic very quickly. Also there was Rich Walsh as the Raiders break through, and there they are. Well, you're right. It was uh, Rich Walsh who that play. Uh, a gain of about a yard, second and uh, 12 coming up. First quarter of play, first series of downs. Manesson has a receiver here wide out to the left side. And a man in motion. Here's a pitch. The Raiders give pursuit. And they're going to make the play back. It's about a 10-yard loss. As Chris Tambiro came in to make the play. Watch the replay as Tambiro with knocks him down. They must have had that play pretty well scouted, Bob. Third down and about 21. Nice play. So you would think that uh, Chad Jan Pedro might want to pass. He doesn't do much of that. And Pat Jan Pedro looking, throws downfield long. Uh, the ball right. along with Fran Shulo. Well, 
first series defensively terrific by the Raiders. There's Jim Pedro throwing the football. He goes too long on the throw. And if you watch uh, Balisario getting tangled down there, although I would have probably taken the incomplete pass because uh, you'd like to have a run back on this punt. Now it is Mike Jim Pedro standing his own. 25 yard line gets a direct snap gets a long high kick fair catch bobbled and the Raiders recover at their own 21 we have a break in the action there is no score 835 to play will return right after this look at the Raider offense after this next play and which will actually be their first from scrimmage. Eight and a half minutes remaining here in the opening quarter. There is no score. This is Balisario. He comes in the backfield. And the call goes to Tamburo. And Tamburo is hit uh, at the line of scrimmage by Brad Jones. For the Raiders, Siora, Fakoris, Zanella, Walsh, Papa, and Bonarotti. In the backfield, it's Orlando Balisario. He comes the fullback. Tam Bureau, the halfback who split in in the wideout is Ben Erdeljack. And we'll get the defense for the Greyhounds a little bit later. No gain on that play. Second down and 10. Here's Belisario. Slips and goes down. And a penalty flag throw. Penalty flag. Zerimsic, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Belisario took, uh, it's a holding call on Riverview. So the Raiders. Uh, they may turn this one down, Bob. They lost about five or six yards as it is. Use the ball in going down. Let's take a look at the. Penley has been declined, so it'll bring up a third down. And uh, at least 10. Make it 20. Third and 17. Here's Belisario on the draw. There goes Fred. Ooh, one more block, and he could have really gone some distance. Tamburo is up to about the 22-yard line. And about uh, eight. Tackle made by Josh Balsic on this play. Balsic reaching around. Brandon Isbell also there for the Greyhounds. So the Raiders will put the football away. Seven minutes remaining in the scoreless first quarter. Ronzo Ford. And it's Ford. He runs into his own man. Going right. And the return is up to near the 25 or 30 yard line made the 30 and got down to about the 28. Excellent, excellent field position on the replay. At about the 26 or 27 yard line. Boy, there well, was a couple of holds if you watch closely on that uh, <laughs> replay. And the tackle finally made here. Out of bounds. So the ball is marked right on the 25. No, it's at the 27. Oh, I'm sorry. 27 yard line is where it's spotted. First down for the Greyhounds. San Pedro has a man in motion. Uh oh, oh great, great defense. What play. a hit. Made by Randy Gilbert. Or no, that was Justin Dujak. Dujak. Make your pardon. Gilbert is still out of uh, action. Gilbert's still on the sideline, and there it is. Uh, Dujak on the, uh, on the runner, Tavia Smith. So they lose a couple of yards, second down and 12 back at the 29-yard line. Second and 12. And Belsic is going to be dropped by Theo Fikaris. Second and 12. And the give goes this time to Balsic around the right side. And Balsic is going to be dropped by Theo Fikaris. Fikaris makes the play at about the 30-yard line. 
So they lose another yard. Watch for Karras come in to make the play. Top part of your screen. He'll come in, number 73. And of course, he. Dermody recognizes the importance of high school athletics and the role that it plays in helping to develop those who participate both mentally and physically. Frank Dermody congratulates the undefeated Riverview Raiders and wishes them well in the playoffs. State Representative Frank Dermody proud to assist in helping to sponsor today's telecast. Well, here we go. Third and uh, 13 here for the Greyhounds. And again, they don't pass much, but they can throw when they have. And in motion, Jan Pedro throws incomplete. His intended receiver was Mike Jan Pedro, number 87. You can get your feet, uh, your, those cleats, Bob, caught up in this turf, and that's exactly what happened there. Same thing happened uh, a little earlier to one of the Riverview people. So on fourth and 13. I don't know if they're going to kick or not. Well, they're not going to kick. They kick it into the end zone. It's a 10-yard kick. Rick. Fourth and 13 at the 30-yard line. Jim Pedro back. Protection is there. He throws. Might be intercepted. It is. Chris Tamburo makes the interception at about the 15. Of course, if he had knocked it down, they would have had a five-yard advantage to the 20, or to the line of scrimmage anyway. Actually, I think the ball would have come out to the 30, which is where the line of scrimmage was. So it's at the 15. That's knee-jerk reaction there. The intended receiver was Mike Jampi. So the Raiders, first down and 10. No score, five minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Bob Tattern, Joe Falsetti, and Mike Pavlik at Mount Lebanon's artificial turf. Here's a handoff to Heekins. I believe it's his first carry of the day. And Heekins on the first uh, carry with two yards. Take another look at Heekins. Uh, and I believe Robert Bristol made the play. Here's Vanessa's defense. Strader, Lowther, Franklin, Frizzell, Bristol, and Jones. And in the secondary, Lowther, Jones, Isbell, Mike Jones. For the Raiders, second down and eight. Heakins and Tamburo in the eye, and the Raiders want to call a timeout. Well, if you've been turned down for credit toward the car that you want, call AA Motors, where you'll find a great selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. There's got to be one to fit your budget. AA Motor Cars, located at the corner of Allegheny River Boulevard at Plum Street, phone 828-1617. That's AA Motor Cars at 828-1617. And good luck, uh, Riverview, from uh, Recupero's Auto Detail. A great selection of car stereos and speakers. Recupero's will also wash and wax your vehicle, clean and shampoo the rug as well. Remember the name, Recupero's, located at 331 Jones Street in Verona, right behind Giant Eagle. You can call them at 828 9030. All right, sir. Well, both teams, Bob, uh, showing their ability to play defense up to this point. Second and eight for the Raiders at their own 17 yard line. And here are the Raiders on second and eight. And it's uh, Tambure on the far side, and uh, no go. I don't think he gained an inch. No, he might have. He might have gotten to the uh, line of scrimmage. That's about it. On the replay, there's the pitch out to Tambure. And tackle on the play. Finally grabbed him. That's uh, Brian Lowther. So third and twelve coming up. They lost some yardage on that play. In fact, they lost four. Looks like maybe Belisario might have to warm up that right arm of his. Turtle Jack is out of the lineup. 
There's Eakins. Eakins. Short yardage. Yeah, Fritz Tambiro may have been the ball carrier. No, that's Heakins that carried the ball. There's a penalty flag thrown. And a holding call on Riverview. So Tambiro it was who uh, carried the football. Well, there's another penalty there, Bob, that uh, I think may, uh, they may take this one. They may take this one. Yep, they're going to take it. It's going to bring the ball down to about the nine-yard line, inside the ten for sure. Yep, at the nine-yard line, so it's going to be, uh, oh, my, third and real long. Now here comes Ertel Jack, and uh, he checks in for Fran Shulo. Riverview has had no field position at all. On the other hand, Manesson has uh, had good field position, but they have got nowhere with it. And the winner will face uh, the Little Prexies of Washington next week at Three River Stadium for the single A title. Here is uh, and Bureau. Tim Bureau going around the left side and is hit at the 10. And uh, tackled on the play by Paul Jones. So the Raiders just uh, will not put it in the air. And now we'll be forced to punt the football away. Nothing given here. Boy. That tackle actually made by Leslie Strader and the Jones coming in later. 2.30 to play here in the scoreless first quarter. And the Raiders will punt it away with Balasario standing at his goal line. Oh. Very high snap. Balasario gets a boomer away. Take it at the 41, and they're going straight up the field. Flags all That's over the place. Brian ball. Lowther on the return. Penalty flags thrown near the area where Lowther had first fielded the football. There's Lowther at about the 41. This will definitely go against Vanessa. And the tackle finally made by the Raiders. So there's the clip call on uh, Manesson. 15 yards. So it will still be Manesson's football. First and 10. Back at their 44-yard line. Two minutes remaining here in the opening quarter. There is no score. Brad Jones went in motion, reverses his field, and the give goes to Tavia Smith. Short yardage to about the 47-yard line. Justin Dujak makes the tackle for the Raiders. Dujak on the uh, top of the screen there. The football at the 47-yard line of Manesson, second down and eight after the two-yard game. To the fullback, trying to get some yardage. The Raiders, uh, Kaleo Siora, one of the tacklers with Zrimsic, Balisario, Assisting on the play, a gain to the Raider 48, and it'll be third and about two or three. What do they have to get to the 45? Third and three coming up. Tavia Smith, wide out to the right side, or Swat, I should say, to the right. Now comes in motion. And oh, oh, what a hit. this time. Josh Balsic carries the football. There's Balsic getting the, the call. And uh, Kaleo Siora along with Theo Ficaris on the tackle. So it's now fourth down and a couple of yards. They're at the 47th. And uh, 
Bears, they may not get this play off as the clock winds down with six seconds. No, they're not going to get it off. And the first quarter will come to an end. So at the end of one, there is no score. Riverview and Manesson here at Mount Lebanon will be back right after this. Pretty much an unproductive first quarter for both teams. Manesson with 14 total yards and Riverview with six. Uh, would you say that the, it could be a defensive battle <laughs> at the end of one quarter? Mm -hmm. All right, Manessa's going to have to punt the football. go here as Manessa is going to punt the football and big number 87 is uh, Mark or I should say uh, Mike Jan Pedro he is going to stand back at his own 40 Ertel Jack and Tamburo back for oh, bad kick bad kick it's going to bounce and it's going to roll out of bounds at about the 24 yard line you know, there's nothing perfect in this world, and uh, Bill Dixon is fixing just about anything electronic that goes bad. TV repair, video recorders, microwave ovens, and more. If what you have needs fixing, come on to Bill Dixon at Bill Dixon TV, located at 806 Allegheny River Boulevard in Oakmont. Phone 828-2347 for Bill Dixon TV. All right, ready to go. Belisario at quarterback, and the handoff goes to Heakins, and Heakins gets up to about the 28 or 29-yard line. Paul Jones, so let's give him a gain of about four yards, and it'll be second down and six. They spot the ball uh, near the 29-yard line. So the Raiders ready to go here, full house high this time. Alessario hands off right up the middle and going absolutely nowhere. Stopped by uh, Robert Bristol as soon as the handoff occurred. Give him a gain of one, call it uh, third down and five. Third and five, the ball at the 29-yard line. The Raiders in possession, a scoreless ball game, second quarter just underway. Well, they got uh, Shulo and Tambura. Uh, Belisario keeping. He has the first down, and he has it up across the 35, goes on the 38-yard line. Belisario on the keeper around the right side. Finally stopped over there by number 55, Bruce Lother. First and 10, and here's a chance to look at it again as Belisario fakes the pitch, keeps it, and gets the first down. Joe, that's number 55 made the stop. First first down of the game for the Raiders. That's how tough things have been. All right. Belisario, one more time, barking signals. Back, look, he's got a man out there. It's Bonarotti. Just overthrown at about the 25-yard line. He had his man beaten, Bob. It could have been six. If that was down just a little bit, but uh, the pass was too long, Switch. incomplete, they'll bring up a second down and 10. First pass uh, of the game, I believe, for the Raiders. First pass. I think they had one before. Okay, that's probably okay. what happened then. All right, I'm looking at, uh, okay. Ready to go once again. Second down, 10. The ball at the... 30. Here is a handoff, and going nowhere is Tamburo, and he is going to be hit back at the 35-yard line, a loss of about four yards on that play. Brian Franklin led the defensive charge for Manesson. They'll lose back to the 35-yard line. It'll be third down 
and about 12 or 13 yards to go. Third and long for the Raiders. Neither team able to do very much here offensively. Well, there was 20 total yards between the two teams in the first quarter. Manessa had 14 of them. That says it all. All right, ready to go. Lone setback this time. Balisario to Heakins, and Heakins gets across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. Paul Jones making the stop along with number 55, Bruce Lothar. And it's going to bring up a fourth down. Decent gain that time by Heakins, but they needed 12 or 13. They got about five. So it's fourth down and about eight. Looked like a face mask may have been grabbed Back. in that pile, too, huh? Could have been. Back for Manesson is uh, Lothar and uh, Bristol. And here is the kick by Belisario, way up there, high kick. Taken. Oh, he's got a wall over there on the other side. It's the Grimzak and Bonarotti, the only two guys left. And Bonarotti finally gets him, fumbles the football out of bounds. You saw that run back coming. They set up the uh, they set up the play over on the far side of the field, and the return looked good from the minute the ball was kicked. And it showed as they run the ball down to the 24-yard line of the Raiders. That's a 52-yard return. Zrimsic catching, trying to catch up with him. Bonarotti is the guy that Bonnie is finally right. going to knock him down. He uh, actually grabbed him, run him out of bounds, fumbled the football, but it was out of bounds. So Manessa, 24-yard line. As you said, Joe, they've had the better of the field position situations for either team here. It's been all Manessa. Uh, this is the best position they've been in so far in the game as uh, Jam Pedro, parking signal, sends the man in motion. Hand off up the middle and getting the football was Tavius Smith and he maybe gets a yard or two at the most. Zach Ribzak led the defensive charge for the Raiders. Though he may have picked up uh, a couple at best, so let's call it second down and eight. So, ready to go once again. The Greyhounds off Manessa. Jim Pedro, the quarterback. Long count. Jim Pedro hands off, and off the left side is number 22, Josh Belchick. And he gets up near the 20 yard line. Getting up from the bottom of the pile was number 15, Justin Dujak. Third down and five. Manessa at the Raiders 20 yard line. Scoreless ball game. 720 remaining here in the second quarter. Ready once again. Right, there is the handoff off the left side. And fumble by the Raiders have it. The Raiders have the football at the 18-yard line. That could have been uh, number, well, who was it? I, I am not sure who that was that recovered the fumble. Orlando Balasario. Balasario, and it was Orlando Balasario on the recovery. And the Raiders have the football at their own 18-yard line. Well, that saves another drive by Boy. Vanessa. All right, ready to go now. The Raiders at their own 18. They just recovered a Manesson fumble. Up the middle. Very little there as they get to the 20-yard line for a gain of about two yards on the play. It had to be Heakins. Yeah, that the was ball, Heakins yeah. on the carry for a couple. Second down and eight. Ball at the 20. Well, if the Raiders can get out of that uh, their own their own uh, area there and get up around midfield and maybe open things up offensively here, but they haven't been able to do anything so far. Manesson just drove down to the uh, 20, fumbled. The Raiders recovered. Second and eight. Here's Balisario, he fumbles, picks up the football, and he's gonna go down at about the 13-yard line. 
So Belisario was able to recover the fumble, but he lost yardage back to the 12 is where they're going to spot it. So this will bring up third down and about 17 yards to go. Mm. They actually spotted at the 13. So the Raiders having their problems moving. Actually, both teams are showing their wares defensively, but neither team can do much on the offensive side of things. Here is Balisario back looking. He's got Bonarotti wide open. He got the pass. He's going to get the, oh, he got the first down up across the 30-yard line to the 31. Looked as though he was going to be hit and dropped at about the 25, but Bonarotti well, just hung in there, got the first down across the 30. I'm trying to figure out how he got that wide open. Well, he sure was open. Actually, uh, there might have been a fumble on that play there with Bonarotti when he got hit. He could have been, and then Ertle Jack fell on it, and Ertle Jack coming off the field. Brother, I hope he's okay. Tough as nail. Well... He sure has been for the last few years. He's got, one, he's got one more to go after this one. Zrimsic into the lineup. All right, ready to go now as uh, the Raiders with a first down at their own 31-yard line. Five minutes remaining in the first half. Scoreless ball game. Balisario on the keeper. Balisario still going. And he is going to be grabbed and dropped at the 47-yard line. Looks like a penalty flag. Joe, as they unsort this one, if I can use that word, let's take a commercial pause, all right? Well, they're walking back. I know that. Penalty flag on the play. We'll return after this timeout. Penalty, uh, Joe. All right, they march off to five yards. They spot the football back near the 26-yard line. Good run that time by Belisario. Unfortunately, there was a penalty. And whistles again. What's the problem now? They want the team to come back three yards behind the, the end of the sideline. Right. They've notified them, and uh, I think they've done it on both sides. Right. Okay, ready to go. Now the ball at the 26-yard line. First down for the Raiders following that penalty, nullifying a good run by Belisario. Ready. Here is the reverse, and here comes Hurdle Jack, and he is going to be dropped. And about the line of scrimmage coming up for the stop number 44, Paul Jones. So that one is no game. If anything, he may have lost a half yard. So it'll bring up a second down and uh, long yardage. And about uh, 15, 16 yards to go. Shulo hmm. coming in with a play from the bench. And, and we're Jura under four minutes. Out. We're under four minutes remaining in the first half and we've got a scoreless ball game. Tamburo and uh, I should say Shulo and he in the backfield split backs. Balisario back looking looking throwing long pass. Oh just overthrown. Looked as though it was the Ertl Jack out there and he's run under a few of them let me tell you the last couple of years. That one came within about a on the screen just beyond his outstretched arms here we go look at this another yard and we might have had six third down at the 25 yard line the clock has stopped three minutes 27 seconds remaining in the first half same formation Heakins and uh, here is Belisario looking, throwing, and it's incomplete. Well, if you're about to uh, rent a vehicle, consider Oakmont Truck Rental, featuring all types of cars, trucks, pickup trucks, dump trucks, 
four-wheel drive vehicles, passenger vans, and moving vans, including the moving van with that power lift gate that saves your back strain. Oakmont truck located at the bridge in Oakmont. Phone 828-2233. All right, fourth down, Balisario going back to uh, cut the football back deep is uh, Brad Lothar. Here is Balisario with the kick. Good kick. It's going to be taken to 35, and there's a flag. That will go against Vanessa. Another flag on the other side. Man, they're just coming down like flies. Good tackle over there by number 24, Brian Chulo. But there's more. Pushing behind the back. Don't bring this one back. Well, Watch you it. count them. Count them. Well, there's one right here. Lothar going around the left there's side. Another there's one. another one. There's That's a good <laughs> block there. Well, no, there's the flag. <laughs> one more coming here before this play's over. Let's take all the penalties oh, and go back to Baldwin. <laughs> good camera work, gang. Good camera work. They'll march off the penalty from the spot of the first flag, which is at the 36. And they'll go all the way back to the 21-yard line, a 15-yard penalty. And we've got three minutes and seven seconds remaining in the first half. Average field position, Joe. Riverview, their own 19, Manesson at midfield. That's big. So maybe we're uh, lucky to be where we're at. All right, here we go. John Pedro off the left side. Breaks one tackle, cannot break the other. And coming up to make the stop, I see that Dujak is there as Josh Belchick. Got about four yards, maybe five. T.J. Skillen was also in on the stop for the Raiders. So it'll be second down and five. The ball at the 26-yard line, just a shade beyond the 26. Coming out wide is uh, Smith. Jim Pedro back, looking, looking, looking. T.J. Skillen almost had him, and he's going to run and finally hit and run out of bounds, but he gets the first down. Across the 35 to the 37, Theo Fakaris making the stop. On the replay, the return by Chad Jim Pedro. And Fakaris and Zarimsic. Two minutes and five seconds left, and we have a timeout. Um, let's take a timeout right here, folks. We'll return with more right after this. Come to Sivas in Oakmont and take advantage of their full-service salon. Pedicures with the Euro Foot Spa. Sivas also offers full body waxing, facials, manicures, electrolysis, and of course the most stylish of perms and cuts. Cut your hair, uh, coloring time in half with the new Italian color system. Holiday gift giving can include a gift certificate from Sivas at 759 Allegheny Avenue in Oakmont. All right, we're ready to go as Manessa in possession with the first down at their own 36. There's a pitch back and a good tackle over there by Tamburo. Tamburo made uh, the tackle at about the 35, make it to 36. Ronza Ford on the carry, which got him nothing. Actually, they'll lose a couple of yards on that play. Joe, in the third quarter, as we speak, Farrell is leading in their semifinal 25 0. Mm. So Farrell looks like they're on their way, and the winner of this one will meet Farrell a week from this date at Three Rivers for the championship. All right, ready to go once again, Manesson. Jim Pedro with a lone setback. Pitches back. There's the option pass. 
Throws a long, long pass. It's caught. It is caught by number 88, Chad Bennon. Oh, my back. Or actually, I should say all the way down to the 16-yard line. It was Brad Jones who threw the football. And uh, catching up with him, Fran Shulo, but boy. So Manesson threatening here just before the half. 1.15 remaining in the first half. Manesson at the Raiders 16-yard line. Scoreless ball game. Manesson. Now they go wide to the left side. Jim Pedro sends a man in motion. Here's Jim Pedro rolling, rolling left. Look, and now he's going to run the football, and down he goes. Two Jack, Two Jack was okay. there. We had another jersey over there that uh, was involved. I couldn't quite get the number, but Do Jack was the principal tackler. So he's going to run it down to about the 10 yard line, and there is Do Jack. And uh, 34 is Tam Bureau also helping out. Second down. A long four from around the 10 yard line. So the Greyhounds come out of the huddle, ready to go, and threatening here for the first time in the ball game. Either team, for that matter. And Pedro sends a man in motion. Long count this time. Looking, 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 throwing. And it is caught and touchdown. So it was right there for the touchdown. Mike Jim Pedro. So the Greyhounds of Manesson draw first blood as they score with 44 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll get set for the extra point. So Mike Jim Pedro will attempt to kick. Hmm. Getting set for the extra point try. The kick is up. The kick is good. So the Greyhound with 44 seconds remaining in the half take a seven to nothing lead. Took a long time to get it, but yeah. there are seven points on the board. Unfortunately, it belongs to the opposition. Well, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you know what a dirty shirt is all about. Now, you're the kind of a guy who knows what it takes to get a job done. Eilers Hardware in Verona caters to the do-it-yourselfer as well as commercial hardware needs. Eilers stands for service, quality, and competitive prices. Eilers Hardware, the Dirty Shirt Hardware Store, located at 318 Center Avenue in Verona. Well, Bob, uh, lightning struck there as uh, Manesson, who does not throw the football, connected on a 48-yard pass, followed that one up with a 10-yard touchdown pass. The kick uh, for the point was good, and the Greyhounds lead uh, the Raiders of Riverview by a score of 7 to nothing. We said this last weekend when Frazier scored first, it's not often that uh, Kappa's teams give up the first score. Well, the results last week were lovely. Let's hope <laughs> there's a little bit of that left here. All right. The Greyhounds, Mike Jim Pedro kicking off. High kick. It's going to be taken. I think that's Heakins there. That, no, that's Tamburo. Tamburo! Almost broken. He gets all the way up to the 44-yard line. 37 seconds remaining in the first half. Mike Gempedro, the guy that kicked the ball, made the tackle, and it could have been a touchdown-saving tackle as well. This uh, Gempedro, Joe, has been rather busy the last couple of minutes. Uh, caught the touchdown pass, kicked the extra point, kicked off, and made the tackle on the return. I would, I would imagine that these two guys are brothers. Chad well, there's and Mike. three of them all together, I believe. Well, two of them are active, uh, actively yeah. in the starting lineup. All right, here we go. 37 seconds remaining in the half. Here's Valisario back. He's looking for Ertl Jack. Here's Ertl Jack. He got it! 
He got it and he tripped at about the 15-yard line. How about that? Nine seconds remaining. Had he not lost his balance, he could have gone in for the touchdown. Well, now great he's nine catch. seconds, Joe. Oh, look at this. What a great catch by Ertel Jack. Look at this. Had he not lost his balance, well, actually he did get the uh, he did get tripped up there by the uh, Greyhound there. Oh, at the 15-yard line, nine seconds remaining in the first half. Now what do you do? Go for three? Well, you got time for one pass. You do. Before the uh, possible field goal attempt. I think Riverview has one timeout remaining after uh, after this one. Well, Shorty lollygagged around here for most of the first half in the last couple of minutes. It's a lot of back. action, right? It's a touchdown. The ride home should be this thrilling, huh? <laughs> Since we're, you're driving your own and I'm driving my own. Well, we're at the 15-yard line. The Raiders have the football at the Manesson 15. Just a moment ago, Manesson, uh, well, they had a couple of passes, one for 48 yards, another one for a touchdown to take a 7 to nothing lead. The Raiders trying to fight back here with time running out in the first half nine seconds remaining as Bob mentioned maybe we got time for one pass play into the end zone and if that doesn't work uh, perhaps we can come up with three from Balisario all right here we go Balisario split back they've got Ertel Jack wide here is a pass into the end zone he got it he got it how about that Ertel Jack oh my goodness why why are we surprised? Why are we excited? He's done this for two years. Belisario throwing into the there corner. There it is, and he got it. He With beat four. number 23 over there, Brandon Isbell. This is, I'll tell you what, Bob, this guy's unbelievable. Where was and he's got a year to go. And he's got one more year to go. I figure I'm starting my own school district, and I'm going to steal him away from Jake. <laughs> of course, uh, if a fight breaks out, I'm betting on Jake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is Balisario with a kick. It is blocked. I think Boy, Balisario may what, be I... hurt. Number 25 blocked it. That was uh, Robert Bristol. Tell you what, there must not have been any kind of blocking at all. The entire Manesson team came. Look at this. The whole team came through there. I don't think there was any blocking at all. But in any event, it's a 7-6 to six game in favor of Manesson. We've got four seconds left in the first half. And very shortly now, the Raiders will be kicking off. Manesson with a one-point lead. Okay, here he comes. Which puts a lot of pressure now on the Raiders uh, because... This game goes into the tank for the next two quarters. Uh, you're going to be looking at that missed extra point. Deep backs for Manesson. Brandon Isbell is number 23. Number 32 is Brand or Brian Lowther. And on the far side is uh, Josh Balsick, number 22. You know, I still can't get over that, uh, that extra point try, Bob. The entire line of uh, Manesson came through there as though there were no, there was no one on the other side. No blocking at all on that extra point try. Unfortunate because you could almost count it. Here is Belisario with the kick. It's a squibbler. It's going to be taken at about the 15-yard line at the 20, 25, 30, and down he goes at the 32-yard line. And the half will end right there. And the half ends with the score, Manesson 7, Riverview 6. And we'll be back with the Riverview Raider Band and halftime statistics right after this timeout. We're at halftime, and in this semifinal single A playoff game at Mount Lebanon. Manesson with a one-point lead. Bob Tattern here along with Joe Falsetti and Mike Pavlik as we go downfield for the sounds of the Riverview Raider marching band.
up the performance by the Riverview Raider Band. Bob Tatton with Joe Falsetti and Mike Pavlik at the half. And we're all set to take a look at our halftime statistics. And to do that, here's Mike. All right, Bob, uh, from the somewhat cramped quarters here at Mount Lebanon, not to say the booth is small or anything, but even the mice are hunchback. Uh, the statistical story in the first half uh, was pretty even. As uh, the stats come up on the screen, you can see them there. The Raiders, uh, four first downs, and the Greyhounds with three. Uh, yards rushing, Manesson had 40, Riverview 16. Pa uh, passing, the uh, Raiders, uh, three out of five, and the Greyhounds, two out of five. 75 yards for Riverview, 58 yards for Manesson, and the total yardage went to Manesson by a slim margin, 98 to 91. Manesson's two turnovers did not hurt in the first half, and Riverview did not turn the ball over. The Raiders have gotten into this bad habit of falling behind in games as the uh, Greyhounds scored first with only 44 seconds to go in the half, capping off a six-play, 78-yard drive. Uh, the Jampedro brothers, Chad and Mike, not to be confused with Chad and Jeremy, 10-yard pass from Mike to Chad. Mike kicked the extra point, 7 to nothing in favor of uh, Manesson. But the Raiders came right back. It didn't take them long. 33 seconds on a two-play, 56-yard drive. The only two pass completions of the half for uh, Ben Erdeljack. And uh, it took four seconds for uh, that's four seconds to go. Erdeljack caught the 15-yard pass from Belisario, and the Raiders had the kick block. They trailed seven to six. Chad Jampedro, as we mentioned, two out of five, 58 yards. He's rushed it twice for 16. Josh Belzik, nine carries, 19 yards. Tavius Smith, three carries, one yard. Brad Jones, one carry, five yards, and runs a Ford carry that was for minus one. Mike Jampedro, the 10-yard uh, reception for one, and Thomas Majors caught the long 48-yard reception that set up the uh, Manesson touchdown. Orlando Belisario, three out of five, 75 yards. Damian Heakins, four uh, carries, 15 yards. Fritz Tamburo, six carries for nine. The Raiders aren't getting anywhere on the ground. Ben Erdeljack, one carry, minus one. Erdeljack caught the two passes for 56 and Bonarotti caught the one for 19, and the halftime score is 7-6 Manesson, and the Raiders are gonna have to come from behind as they've had to do the last three ball games, Bob. We've had an opportunity to do a little research in, on the uh, quarterbacks and uh, the runners here involved in today's game. We can take a, a moment out to uh, look at the, the quarterback stats for the two starters today. Uh, Chad Jampedro for Manesson, and Orlando Balasario for uh, the Raiders. By the way, Orlando's brother uh, playing at Duquesne uh, University in Pittsburgh for uh, the Dukes on the football team, and he's playing today. That's the Dukes' first uh, bowl game in a long time, and yeah. uh, people will want to turn into the uh, trivia show on the first of next month, and there might be a question involving that. All right. <laughs> Quarterback stats. Balasario coming into the game today, 34. Out of 65 for almost 800 yards. Seven touchdowns, six interceptions. Manessin's to Chad Jampedro, 14 out of 35 for a little better than 200 yards. And uh, the uh, rushing today, Heakins and Tamburo. Heakins, 904 yards. Tamburo with 467. The averages is what catches your eye. And for Manesson, Balsic with a 1,000-yard season. As a matter of fact, with 1,100. And uh, Smith with 612. And uh, team stats. Uh, overall, Riverview with uh, 787 in the air. Two hundred and thirty-four for Manesson. Riverview also with eleven 1 hundred more on the ground. And if you look at it, they have almost twice as many yards as Manesson overall on the campaign. So that's where we stand. Folks, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back with our third quarter kickoff right after this brief timeout. Once again, Bob Tattern with Joe Falsetti and Mike Pavlik here at Mount Lebanon. The artificial turf, as you can well tell, this is not uh, Mother Nature at work here this afternoon. No, this is, sure is Charlie Plastic. What a, <laughs> what a difference from last night. Boy, I'm telling you. Joe, let's take a look at a couple of the big plays in the first half. Uh, an option, uh, not really an option pass, but I should say the 
uh, lateral to Brad Jones and then Jones throwing deep and he's got his man downfield and it was uh, Shulo who caught up with him and uh, then the touchdown pass to Mike Jim Pedro the first score of the game that put Menison on front by a six nothing score this is quarterback uh, Chad Jim Pedro and he'll throw into the end zone and uh, pick up the six points and there it is and of course uh, Jim Pedro's height he helped him there too. I was going to say it was a jump ball and he won the toss. And with time running out in the second quarter, it was uh, Ben Erdeljack who caught a pass, stumbled over the defender who tripped him up. Watch Belisario sail this one into the air. Coming up with it is Erdeljack. And uh, trips and comes down. However, they went in to score, but then the extra point was blocked. Here's the touchdown pass, by the way, to Erdeljack who starts out on the right into the corner of the end zone and perfectly thrown. And the extra point blocked. And it uh, stayed that way through the final four seconds of the first half because that's all that was left. Now watch the whole, watch the whole defensive line come in here. Not one block, I don't think. Look at this. I've never seen, I've never seen the defensive line charge like that without being touched. Joe, the uh, Farrell Ball Club has defeated Western Beaver 25 to nothing, so Farrell will play the winner of this one. And USC has won their game 24-13. So they'll, uh, those uh, winning teams will get ready for uh, Three Rivers next Saturday. So Upper St. Clair pulls through. It'd be nice if the Raiders could pull this one out, Bob. They'll and open have. up. They'll open up next Saturday at 11, followed by the Burl game. So uh, you know the AK Valley will have the first two games on the card if the Raiders are able to pull this one out. So Riverview will start with possession here in the second half. Again, it's uh, Bob Tattern with Joe Falsetti and Mike Pavlik at Mount Lebanon. State Representative Frank Dermody recognizes the importance of high school athletics and the role that it plays in helping to develop those who participate both mentally and physically. Frank Dermody congratulates the undefeated Riverview Raiders and wishes them well in the playoff. State Representative Frank Dermody proud to assist in helping to sponsor today's telecast. By the way, if you've been turned down for credit toward the purchase of the car that you want, you better call AA Motors where you'll find a great selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. And there's got to be one to fit your budget. AA Motor Cars, located at the corner of Allegheny River Boulevard and Plum Street. Phone 828-1617. That's AA Motor Cars, 828-1617. So Greyhound... Uh, the Greyhounds, that is, will kick off. Start our third quarter. Go, go, go. Mike Champedro to kick off. Tamburo straight down the middle. Erdeljack. However, it is Erdeljack at about the 15. And Erdeljack up near the 30-yard line on the return. The tackle made. I think it was uh, Paul Jones. And boy, he's been active all day today for this Manesson team. Jones, 44. Also uh, assisting on the tackle was Matt Brown. Or Matt Byron, I should say. Beg your pardon. Well, here come the Raiders. Song. Well, do you come out throwing, Bob? I would. <laughs> and a couple of yards on this play up the middle to Heakins. Heakins advancing the football to the 33, a gain of about three. Second and seven and a timeout by the official the here. Walsh, uh, Bob, that they're looking at. I see it now. Okay. Holding his side. There's something wrong over there on the, his left side. I don't know whether it's equipment or. Well, he's coming off. Rich like, Walsh. I think he's hurting her a little bit. He's a tough nut. Yeah. 
There he is. There he is right here. Somebody ran into him. Is what happened. Could have been. Could have been his own man. He can run into him. Second and seven coming up. Time is back in. Orlando Belisario over center. This time it goes to the tailback and short yardage off the left side again. I thought they might come out passing the football, but uh, not the case. Was that Eakins that yeah. carried? Eakins. It was Fritz Tamburo brought down by Robert Bristol. Eakins did the blocking. It was Tamburo who carried on that play. Tamburo the tailback out of the eye. Getting the ball. Third down and about uh, three. Well, let's say three. They've got to get up to the 40 yard line, pretty close to the 40. Third down and three. Belisario is going to be dropped. Oh, he handed off. This is uh, uh -oh. Tamburo tripped oh, up and he got back to the line of scrimmage and got about uh, a yard. He, he got it. within a yard of the first down yep. marker. For all practical purposes, when you look at that play, you think he was uh, down and dead. Here's the give to uh, Tamburo as he comes now to the right side. And he just missed the first down, tripping up there and finally stopping. It was Brandon Isbell. So it's fourth and a yard, and the Raiders will punt it away. Manesson didn't believe it there for a minute, Bob. They didn't send anybody back. Now they do. Good snap. Good long high punt by Balisario, taken at the 26-yard line by Brian Lowther. And Lowther is finally hit by Balisario and uh, Franchulo. Zrimsic had a hand on him. There's Shulo and Belisario. Boy, they almost caused a fumble on that play if you look at it uh, closer. So it's marked at the 32 for this Manesson team who leads 7-6 at the start of the second half. First down and 10 here. And it goes to the... Uh, Tailback as Dujak makes the hit on Josh Belsick up at the 40. Second down, a gain of about seven or eight on that play. Call it uh, eight yards, second down and two. The powerful blocking, Joe, this team is what's been keeping Manesson uh, not only in the game, but ahead. Seven, six, second down and two. They just open up the holes and the Raiders are reacting, but uh, they're getting beat on the ball, I believe, here. Second and two. Jones in motion. The give goes to Balsic. Balsic has the first down. Still gone. Giving chase is uh, Tamburo. Tamburo's going to knock him down at the 19-yard line. Tell you what, that must have been a heck of a run. Looked as though they had him hemmed in over there at about the 40, 45 yard line, but somehow or other he got through the pack and Tambura with a uh, touchdown saving tackle at the 20 yard line. Well, you would think they would have had him right here, right here. Yep. Shrug the tacklers. Balisario gets taken out of the play. Ertl Jack gets dumped, and the only man left was Tam Bureau, first and 10 at the 19. And Dujak one more time, along with Chulo and uh, Kaleo Sioro combined on this play. And they'll lose some yardage. Fran Chulo was also there. I think we may mention that, Damian Heakins. So they lose a yard. Looks like about two yards on the play. Second and 12 at the 21. Once again, it's Belsick off the right side. Loose football. T.J. Skillen forced the uh, play. 
for the Raiders defensively. So, loose football recovered by the Greyhounds. Uh, Theo Fakaris also there. And it was T.J. Skillen that forced that uh, loose football. Third down and about eight. So they gained maybe four on that play. Man in motion. They look to throw, and it is caught believe this. down to the two-yard line. Big play by Brad Jones. And to think this team does not pass, Bob. That's what's surprising. And if you look at the replay, Jones they had him kind covered. of stuck up his hands and look at this. Good coverage. Fortunately for the Raiders, he tripped. Seven six Manesson, and they're at the Raider two yard line. And we are midway through this third quarter. Long count. Jones forcing his way through for the touchdown. And Manesson has scored again. So Manesson adds to the total. They now lead 13 to 6. And the Raiders have their work cut out for them now for sure. I was hoping the Raiders would get the first score of the second half. Didn't work out that way. So the Greyhounds increase the lead this time with the six points uh, on the touchdown to make it 13-6 and the kick coming up by Mike Jim Pedro bad snap kick is high but uh, the kick is good so it's a 14 to 6 game in favor of Manesson. We'll be back with Manesson's kickoff right after this. Well, good luck to the Raiders from uh, Recupero's Auto Detailing and Car Stereo featuring a great selection of car stereos and speakers. Recupero's will also wash and wax your vehicle clean and shampoo the rug as well. Remember the name, Recuperos, located at 331 Jones Street in Verona, right behind Giant Eagle. You can call them at 828-9030. Uh, that touchdown for Manesson, 68 yards in six plays, and they ate up about three and a half minutes on the clock. So Manesson kicking off. And it is another high kick. It is Erdelchak at the 15, fumbles the football, picks it He's up. He's got room. He's got room. 30. He's at the 35 and brought down near the 40. Maybe the 42-yard line. Finally, it was uh, Robert Bristol who uh, made the play. There's Erdelchak. He got a bounce that went his way. I would imagine both teams have had a little bit of a problem today uh, with the artificial surface. Just something you're not used to playing on. Just short of the 42, we'll call it the 41. And uh, five and a half minutes, 546 actually, left in the third quarter, and the Raiders trail by eight. Well, the Raiders may have to start uh, throwing the football, Bob. They're down by eight points. 540 remaining in the third quarter. So here are the Raiders with Belisario, straight T formation with the ends in tight. Eakins is going to be dropped on the play, and he lose some yardage. Brian Lowther, although he did get away, there's a flag thrown, I believe. Paul Jones be finally came over and made the tackle. But well, Eakins took a beating there. Well, when you hear the whistle, you got to let up. He was hit right there and stopped here. Now he is stopped. There is right there. Now the whistle, I'm sure, blew right there. They just didn't stop, and there goes the penalty. You know, the clock is running during this march off. It's it should be going. stopped. Look at this. 
Why is the clock running? Did somebody ask the guy in there? Well, they lost about 15, 20. At least 15 seconds. I can't believe that. So the ball is marched ahead of the 45-yard line. It's the first down for the Raiders. And I wouldn't doubt that Jake Kappa would go for two points, Joe. There's, there's oh, no doubt about it. No I mean, there's no, there aren't any other odds on that. Here's a pass by Ertel Jack. He's got a man out there, and it's knocked down by Mike Jam Pedro. Bonarotti was out there. Yeah, just slightly underthrown. So it's now second and ten, and as uh, we figure, they would have to open up eventually, and uh, maybe they're doing it now. There's the replay on that pass. Boy, he almost had the interception if you look yeah. at it there, too. Well, you know, being down by eight points doesn't necessarily mean you have to start throwing the football. They have oh, to no. start throwing it because they just are not able to do anything at all on the ground. So the next best thing is uh, go to the air. That's what got you the touchdown in the first half. Second down and 10 for the Raiders. 4-15 to play. Third quarter. Little pass out on the flat. It is caught by Tamburo. Tamburo, boy, it looked like they got the face mask on that one. Tackle was made by Robert Bristol. I could be wrong. There is a flag over there on the 50-yard line. I don't know that that's in such a good area. It might be no. holding on the Raiders. That's exactly what it might be. It was in the backfield of the Raiders. Let's see what the call is. It is on the Raiders. And here's the replay. Tam Bureau had to go up and get that one. See what I mean about the yeah. watch. Mm. The chop block. Yep, there it is. So the march off brings the ball all the way back to the 36. And the Raiders have got to get down to the opposition's 35. So that's 30 yards. It's actually 29. Second and 29 coming up. Well, the Raider crowd that's here, Bob, uh, directly below us, uh, a little quiet. They're down by eight points, and uh, that hasn't happened too often this year, if at all. Under four minutes of the third quarter, 14-6 Manesson. Here are the Raiders, and the pass almost intercepted. The pass intended for Ertel Jack. And coming up to make the defensive play was Brandon Isbell. I think maybe that, that play there, Bob, is going to set things up for the long one down the sideline, which we have seen the last couple of years a number of times uh, to Ertel Jack. Last year by Kappa, the quarterback. This year by Balisario. Clock stops on the incompleted pass. 3.38 left in the third quarter. And Manessin ahead by eight. So here's the third down play coming up. Ertel Jack, wide out to the right. There's the long pass. It is Tam Bureau out there. He catches the football. There's a Tam Bureau catching the football. I hope it's not offensive interference, but there was a flag. However, Tam Bureau made a great catch. He's down at the 18-yard line. Watch this one unfold, folks. There's Belisario letting it fly. And underneath, beautiful camera work, guys. Yes, indeed, all the way down to the 18-yard line. The interference call obviously is declined. First down, and the ball is at the 18. Well, we thought the fly pattern might come a little later to Ertel Jack. It came yeah. sooner to the 10, 10 Bureau. So three and a half minutes now remaining in the period. It's at the Manesson 18-yard line. And here come the Raiders. Once again, Tam Bureau looking at Ertel Jack. Fires uh, closer to Bonarotti in the pass. Is knocked down by Mike Jampedro. He had Ertel Jack in the end zone well covered. And instead of taking that route through a higher percentage pass, a little bit closer 
because had that ball been intercepted, perhaps it would have been caught out of bounds. Second and 10 at the 18. Jack wide to the right. Bonarotti slot to the right. And here's Belisario on a handoff. The draw goes to Tamburo. He's inside the 10-yard line. He's got the first down, Bob. And he's at the eight. He may have There's the first flag down. on the play. Oh, Boy, brother. What it's against Manesson. Take a, can we take another look at the replay? I think it's a personal foul again. Eugene Frizzell, number 66, apparently the guilty party on this one. Well, let's get a look at it here. There is a draw. Sam Bureau. Well, there. Personal foul against the Manessa. First and goal. The ball is where? At the four-yard line, Bob. So the Raiders would get the... Uh, should they get the two, they would trail. I'm sorry. If they get the touchdown would trail by two and then he'll go for two and hopefully tie it let's get the six first all right Hakins at left half Shulo I'm sorry Tamburo at the right half Hakins straight up the middle that's going to get down to about the one yard line inside inside the two it's at about a yard and a half away Tackle made on the play by Paul Jones. I'll tell you what, I, I'd like to, I'd like to see Bellasario keep it here, Bob, and just you know get off either the right or left guard and just take it right into the end zone. So they're down to the two-yard line. Time showing on the clock. A little better than two minutes of the third quarter. Riverview trailing 14-6. Second down and goal at about the two. And it's Tamburo and will not make it. Wrapped up by Josh Belsick, number 22. Yeah, he's and assisted right by Mike Jan Pedro. So that's where they are. So it's now third and goal, still at the two yard line. Still at the two. Boy, they gotta they gotta take this thing in, Bob. Under a minute and a half remaining here in the third quarter. I'll tell you what, it's the Belisario on the keeper. He'll fake and keep it. Go! He got it! Belisario, nice. did nice I call it? Nice call. <laughs> All right. Orlando Belisario picks up the six. Now the the all important two pointer. Yeah, they went for they went for the the pitch man and Bureau and Belisario took it in. Part of the crowd here today for the Raiders. Timeout is going to be called by Manesson as uh, the Raiders get set to go for two and tie this thing up. Well, if you're about to rent a vehicle, we would like you to consider Oakmont Truck Rental as they feature all types of cars, trucks, pickup trucks, dump trucks, four-wheel drive vehicles, passenger vans, and moving vans. And they include the moving van with that power lift gate that saves you back strain. Oakmont Truck Rental features complete auto and truck repair. They're located at the bridge in Oakmont. And give Mark and his guys a call at 828 22 33. You know, the other commercials I had left were all in Braille anyway. I don't know what they're doing. They, they finally turned the press box lights on. Oh, this is the game we're doing. <laughs> oh, I see you got your voice back, huh? Oh, brother. They scored a touchdown <laughs> and you got your voice back. <laughs> Wonderful. I think all obligations uh, have been fulfilled on our so called three by five card list, Joe. Good. <laughs> now, if only we can get another obligation fulfilled here and get two points on the extra point try. All right, here are the Raiders. 
Marsh Marsh far left. They need two to tie. Balisseri looking into the end zone. Fires. It is caught. It is caught. Ohio Jack. Oh, like a hot potato. Lead ball bounced around in it. It sure did. It was hot. It was sizzling, but Errol Jack got burned and held on. The game is tied at 14. Watch it now. Tipped into the air. There it is again. He got it. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh, my. All right, Ben. So the Raiders have tied the game, folks at 14 with a minute and 14 to play. We are tied at 14 each. Well, the Riverview crowd has really come alive here now with that touchdown pass, or I should say the touchdown run and that two-point conversion that was handled like a hot potato, but Ertl Jack has been used to these hot numbers and picked up the two points. Orlando Belisario has the football teed up. Oh, I was supposed to take a break. Well, we'll do it at the third quarter. We'll do we got a minute to go. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Here's the kick. It is deep. Taken at about the 12. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Number 22 for the uh, Aaron. Aaron Frank. Oh watch, watch the replay here. The return by Brad Jones. Or I'm sorry, that's uh, Brian Lowther. And a nice tackle by Aaron Frank. Was it ever. He's pumped up. Yeah. He's pumped. Here we go. Benesson with the ball with a minute to play. Third quarter. Game tied at 14. And of course the lights are on. I'll tell you what, 51, Rich Walsh did. The Greyhounds are tentative with the football here. Watch this. You know, it's not very cold out there, but it looks like they almost fumbled the ball. Right there, Rich uh, Walsh comes back, makes the play. Hakins injured uh, on the sideline, and uh, they're working on him right now. His leg, maybe a cramp. I hope it's nothing more than a cramp. Too cold, maybe, to be cramped, but uh, it's possible. Man in motion is Jones. Here's the pitch. They're going wide to the right with a football. Chad Jan Pedro. That play has worked. And he's knocked out of bounds. Tom Baker part of was 31. That's uh, uh, Tavia Smith. I think Ertl Jack is the guy that made uh, the stop. Over they almost there. had a fumble out of that one, Joe. Did you see the ball pop yeah. loose? Looked like they had. That play is about the only one that's really worked for yardage for Manessa. He can shake it up. They may not get this play off. Well, it went out of bounds. The clock is stopped with three seconds. Once again, Jones in motion. And again, they go to Belsic. Belsic trying the right side and is hit at the near the line of scrimmage the 40 yard line time is run out in the third quarter and the third quarter has concluded the raiders and manesson are all tied at 14 bob tattern joe falsetti and mike pavlik from mount lebanon and will return with a fourth and final quarter after this timeout Fourth and final quarter. It's exactly the way it started. All tied up. 14-14 is the score. Second down and 10. Manesson has the ball at their own 40-yard line. Jim Pedro, the quarterback, and there is the reverse going around the right side. And tripped up and got there is Dujak with a good tackle. That one was going to gain some yardage as Brad Jones was about to turn the corner 
But Dujak came up, made the stop after a gain of about three yards on the play. My mistake, Tavia Smith, Smith, right? Smith, pointed okay. to the wrong number. All Smith right, carried. No problem. Third and seven. Big play here for both teams, obviously. Vanessen uh, needs seven to maintain possession. The Raiders would like to put him into a punt situation here with a defensive play. Third and seven. Ball at the 43-yard line. And Pedro back, looking, looking, throwing too long, almost intercepted. Had it been a little shorter, Shula would have intercepted. As it is, it's an incomplete pass. It'll put Manesson into a punting situation with 11-13 remaining in the fourth quarter. Manesson's coaching staff, Joe, looking for interference on this play. If anything, he probably got uh, caught in the turf. Did you stand another? Uh, no, I don't want over overtime. Uh -huh. We had three last week. <laughs> we almost had a Mike. last, uh, this, you know, with Burl. You're right. Uh, although they went on to win it. All right, a punting situation coming up here with the Manesson kicking from their own 30. Hurdle Jack is back. High kick. It's going to be taken by, well, it's not going to be taken. It's going to bounce and roll out of bounds, I believe, at about the 20-yard line. So the Raiders will put it in play from their own 20. We're tied at 14 with 11.03 remaining in regulation. Looking at the Raiders' the performances this year now, they gave up six points to Rochester, six to Sarah, 14 to Clareton, seven to Greensburg, and 13 to Leechburg. So this is only the second time this year that they have given up 14 points. Of course, we're in the playoffs, and this is where you meet the cream you, of the crop. You got it. All right. Ready. Balisario set to go at his own 20-yard line. And off, and Erno Jack still going up across the 40 to about the 42. That, is it a fumble or did he hit the ground? Now, well, no, wait a minute. I think one official, one official is calling a contact. Well, now they say Manesson got the ball. Watch the replay. Oh, brother, let's watch this. Erno Jack still going, still going. My goodness, that clearly was, that ball was clearly no fumble. You could see it coming out of his hand after he hit the ground. Bad call, bad call, terrible call on the part of the official. And 11 minutes left in the game. Well, let's hope the call doesn't turn this thing around to uh, lead into something for Manesson because that absolutely was no fumble. Here's a handoff off the left side. Looked as though Penalty they had flag. something, but there's a flag on the play. They're maybe trying to get even on this call and uh, give a holding call to Manesson. That call was just terrible. Procedure penalty against Manesson. Would you say he rounded out his cut? Take another look at that one fumble by, well, a called fumble. Well, we'd like to see that maybe a little bit later on, Rob. Uh, we absolutely must see that one again because uh, that was absolutely no fumble. He was clearly on the ground. First in the what 15 first and 15 ball at the 48 yard line now the reason that Ertel Jack ran that football is the fact that Heakins is still out of the lineup he's on the bench they continue to work on his right leg all right ready first and 15 the mess at the Raiders 48 yard line Dan Pedro keeping, looking, looking, and down he goes. What boy, that should have well, that should be that should be a uh, he should be caught right back there. It should be a sack. What what's the penalty flag for? He, it? he threw the ball to try and avoid the sack. The officials are discussing it. 
But you can clearly see he tried to avoid a sack. There it is. Yeah, he threw to a lineman. He's thrown to number 55, and he's clearly not an, an eligible receiver. Let's see what happens. Oh, come on, for heaven's sake. I got a little news for these guys. They should have charged them when they came in. Oh, he's now, we're getting an explanation. The lineman was behind the line of scrimmage. Ten twenty-three left in the game and a timeout called by Manessa. All right, Joe. timeout is called. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. We're in the fourth quarter with 10.23 to play in the game. We're going to take another look at that Ertel Jack run that was ruled a fumble. Now and you'll you, see that he... You tell me whether or not he hit the ground first. You saw it clearly. Oh, well. Uh, when time resumes, it'll be second down and 15. Second down, 15 yards to go for... The Greyhounds of Manessa, they have the ball at uh, just inside the 49-yard line of the Raiders. The other official should have waved off uh, the guy that called the fumble, Joe. If you're on top well, of the Well, the, the one official, Bob, that was right there did not rule a fumble. I, that's the reason I said uh, that uh, the other guy is uh, going to rule, uh, you know, by uh, hitting the ground, but he didn't do it. Second and 15. All right, here we go, second and 15. They send a the man in motion. Jim Pedro back looking, and now they're going to throw an option pass. It's complete. And out of bounds is number 33. That is uh, Jones. And uh, they'll spot the ball just inside the 34-yard line. I was wondering if uh, Jim Pedro would get this pass off. Watch the rush. He did get it off. He's going to be a little bit short of the first down. Went out of bounds at the 34. They got to get to a, they got to get just, I think, just inside the 33. He's going to be a little bit short, I believe. T.J. Skillen calling for the crowd to get into it here. All right, third and one. Third and one. Ball at the 34-yard line. They got to get just close to the 33. San Pedro barking signals, and there's a handoff, and I think they have the first down. Well, you they keep got... tackling until you hear the whistle. Ball is going to be spotted at about the 32 and a half yard line, and that should be enough for the first down. Forward progress there gets them all. That Drimzak almost put that helmet on the ball, but uh, they held on to it. First and ten. Manesson at the Raiders, 32. I'm going to mention to the guys in the truck, uh, hold on to that last pass play by Manesson because you cannot throw two forward passes on, on the same play, and we will, we want to see if that one pass on the flat was indeed right. forward. Right, could have been. And a handoff off the left side, and this time he's not going anywhere. Down he goes, and I believe that was Valisario, and he had some help over there by, I think that was uh, Fran Shulo, number 24. So Balisario and Shulo combine for the stop, and it'll uh, result in a three-yard loss. It'll be second down and 13, the ball at the 35-yard line. Balisario, the principal tackler on the play, and Shulo helped out. So here we go, second and 13, the ball at the 35. Joe, let's think turnover. Huh? Not a bad idea. We're under nine minutes remaining in regulation. Motion. Jim Pedro back looking. They've got a screen set up. They've got, there's a flag. Still going, still going, and finally dropped down around the six yard line was uh, Josh Belchick. There was a flag on the play. Mm. Number 51 from Manesson is uh, on the, 
He's on his knees. He's kneeling, uh, which leads me to believe it might be against the Greyhounds. Let's see what happens. It is against the Greyhounds. Number 51 evidently felt that he did something wrong because he never got up off his knees when he saw the flag beside him. So, so I think a holding call is going to go against Manesson and a terrific break for the Raiders. Now, can we, can you guys go back and get the other pass that we were talking about? Take one more look at that because you cannot have two forward passes on the same play. And on that particular play, I'm referring to Ch Chad Jampedro. Well, we want throws. to take a look. Well, here it is. All right, here's the, uh, let's see, it's at about the 48-yard uh, line. All right, let's see, right there, 48. I'll tell you, that's a forward pass. Yep. It sure was, Bob. Good. Mike Pavlik picked it up. Yep. That was a forward pass. Yep. And that's the, well, I guess this is one of those games. <laughs> Sweat it out. Jim Pedro rolls left, looking, looking, throwing. It's caught, but uh, he's he's on the ground. Intercepted. Intercepted. Justin Dujak. Oh my! Look at him. He's all pumped. Watch Dujak come all up. All right, with let's it. watch this. Looks like it was going to go to number 33, Brad Jones. Well, 51's in the way. That's yeah, we couldn't see it, but, uh, well, we didn't have to see it. Dujak got the interception at the 41-yard line. The Raiders at their own 41. 7.50 remaining in regulation. We've got a 14-14 ball game. Oh, my. It just doesn't get any easier, does it, Bob? No. He comes back in. Back in. Here's Ertel Jack. Ertel Jack across the 45. And Ertel Jack is up to about the 47-yard line. So he'll pick up about five yards, maybe six. Now watch the blocking by Heekins right there. Oh, what a good one. block right there. Yep. And they're trying to strip the ball to Boots. And finally, uh, Bob Bristol, Robert Bristol, makes the tackle. So the Raiders now with a second down and four. They have the ball at their own 47-yard line. Clock is moving. We're approaching seven minutes in regulation. Heakins in motion. Hand off, Pam, you first down at about the 48-yard uh, line. It's no, close. he's got it. He's got it. Well, I agree with you. I'm almost positive he's got it, but they're going to bring Val down. They, no, they're not bringing him the sticks. They're going to signal first down. So first and 10, the Raiders at the Manesson 48-yard line. Triple overtime last week with Burrow. A uh, ball game that we had last night that's too difficult to describe. We've got another one here that's tied with six and a half minutes remaining in regulation. Here's Balisario on the keeper. Run out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. Got about five, maybe. Let's see where they spot the football. Tackle made over there by Robert Bristol. They'll spot it. Uh, well, 42 and a half. So it'll be about a five-yard pickup. Second down and five. See, the ground game starting to uh, pick up some yardage, Bob, which uh, would obviously be a terrific lift here in the fourth quarter with uh, 620 remaining. Second and five. Ball at the 42 of Manesson. Handoff here is Tam Bureau, and he gets stopped cold. Greg Hill led the defensive charge there along with number 72, Leslie Strader. So they make the stop. So he might have got, got to the 42-yard line, a pickup of about a half a yard on that play. Third down and a long four. So the Raiders come out of the huddle as they need about four yards. Ertel Jack on the slot to the right side, split backs. Here is the handoff. Heakins got the first down. 
Heakins on the first down at about the 42-yard line, or I should say the 37 of Manesson. Joe, they're eating up the clock, which is also important. Good block by uh, Fritz Tamburo on that one. The first. ground game beginning to show some life here for the Raiders in the fourth quarter. They've been stymied throughout the ball game. Uh, passing uh, has been, uh, you know, a little bit more effective, and it certainly helped them get those two touchdowns that they have. All right, we're ready now. It's first and ten. The Raiders at the Manesson 37-yard line. Belisario hands off to uh, Ertel Jack, and he's going to be stopped cold. He might have got a yard on that play, perhaps. And Greg Hill again is there, along with uh, Bristol. Yep. So it's going to be a gain of, well, a gain of one. Call it second and nine. A little bit closer, Bob, uh, than where we are right now. Could be, uh, you know, field goal time. Yeah, with, uh, Orlando could do it. Yeah, he sure can. This is, uh, I think, maybe a little bit too far. And here is Valisario on the keeper. This time he's going to be hemmed in, and he's going to be dropped and run out of bounds. And a flag. Late flag. There is a flag oh, out yeah. of bounds. This could be against Manesson. Could be against Manesson. The, uh, I think that's number 25 that may be called on that one. Let's wait. And the Riverview coaches. Personal are, foul, yep, are, against the uh, Greyhounds. And watch. number 25 is really upset. That's Bristol. He is really upset. Let's see if we can see what happens. Nothing there. 87. Mike Jan. I didn't see anything there, Bob, unless it happened, uh, you know, where we couldn't see it. But the officials did call a 15-yard penalty. Personal foul against the Greyhounds. The ball is down at the 17-yard line, and uh, this could be close enough for uh, Ballesterio to take a shot at it if it's fourth down. So Ballesterio was over talking to Coach Kappa as the clock is stopped with 4.27 remaining in regulation. And Shulo wide. Here is Belisario on the keeper, and he's down to about the 15 yard line. Stopped at about the 15, a gain of a couple of yards. They'll spot the ball at the 16 yard line. Four minutes plus. Second down, eight yards to go. We are inside four minutes remaining. Ertel Jack coming in with a play from uh, Coach Kappa. Second down and eight. All right, ready to go. Boy, first down here, Bob, would eat up the clock and would have been pretty good shape. Here is Ballesterio to Heakins. Heakins inside the 15, maybe to the 13. There's the fumble. And the whistle has not blown yet. I don't know what they're doing down there, but Heakins is holding on to the football inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We've uh, it's what third down, and I think number 73 was there for the stop, Brandon Anderson, or I, I oh, uh, Riverview Fakaris may have fallen on that loose ball down there. But it is inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. Now we're inside three minutes remaining. And uh, this could be it here, Bob. If they don't get the first down, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Bellisterio with the field goal try. They're going to take a timeout, talk this over, and we'll be back with more championship football right after this. You know, if they could pick up a first down here, they could pretty much eat up a good part of that 246 that's right. remaining in the game and then give Ballesterio a shot at that field goal. What concerns me is the fact that they're blocking for the extra point bro broke down terribly. Oh, boy, that was... Uh, and kicking a field goal may not be all that easy. Well, that's true, too. Of course, that might be uh, 
behind uh, Coach Kappa's noggin. But then again, we'll uh, see what develops here. We're at third and five. The ball is at the Manesson 14-yard line. 2.46 remaining in regulation. Hurdle Jack split wide to the right side. Hurdle Jack. Marking signals. Hurdle Jack rolling out, looking. He's got Hurdle Jack in the end zone. And he did not get it. The official right there, and the official was well just holding up. It looked as though he may have uh, picked that one out of there, but not quite. Well, Girdle Jack is the go-to guy, and they did it again here. Take another look at it, and almost, almost, but not quite. Well, here comes the what three. What do they do? Take another timeout? They're taking another timeout, and I think what they're going to do here is go for the field goal. Manesson has uh, one timeout remaining. Burl. Or I should say, <laughs> Riverview <laughs> with one timeout remaining. 2.39 left. Well, I guess maybe we all didn't want to say it, but we sort of figured it was going to come down to uh, a game like this, tied with uh, two or three minutes to go. Another merry well finish. Well, Orlando Belisario, if they go for the three, will have a, uh, let's see, seven and... Well, he's at the, what, 21 would be a 31-yard kick. 33. Six, uh, he's, no, he's, he's at, at the 14. 14. All right, 14 and seven is 21. 31-yard kick. Just a little bit more than a field goal, and what are they going to do? They're going for it. Yep, the field goal try is coming. Belisario, they'll spot the ball just outside the 20-yard line, which would be a 30, 31-yard kick. Hurdle Jack holding. The snap, the kick is blocked again. They block it and uh, recovered by Manesson. I think that's number 66. Eugene Frizzell got it and, uh, well, Boy, he really came busted through there, and nobody touched him. Nobody at all touched him. So, Manesson will uh, take over. Boy, 2.30 to play. Now it looks as though an overtime is, uh, well, right around the corner. Probable. Manesson ready to go. They have the ball at their own 25-yard line following that blocked extra point try, or I should say field goal try. There goes Jim Pedro throwing. Incomplete. You know, I'm surprised because... There's a flag over there too, Bob. I'm surprised only because I, I thought that Manesson Wonder. might eat up the clock and take their chances in overtime as opposed to risking an interception. Well, well... You want to try to win the game. Maybe they, uh, maybe it was beyond the line of scrimmage on this play. I don't know. Let's wait and see. Yep. Could be that he was beyond the line of scrimmage. Yes, he was. There it is. He's beyond the line of scrimmage. Now, is that not also a loss of down? They'll indicate it here, so they'll march off the penalty. Five-yard penalty against Manesson. And well, lost it down. Lost it down. It anyway. No, it's the second down. It is a loss of down. Second and 15. All right, ready to go once again. Then Pedro, the quarterback, wide out to the far side of the field. They hand off off the left side and tripped up and getting very little, if anything, over there. Is Belchick and uh, no gain on that play. Could be Fakaris. Theo Fakaris making the stop for the Raiders. It'll be a third down. And they've got to get to the uh, they've got to get to the 37-yard line. They're at the 23. So they need about 14 yards. A minute 40 remaining in regulation. 
And Pedro hands off and Dujak with a big stop. And I think a timeout is going to be called by somebody. Yep, there it is. Yeah, they are. They are taking a timeout. We will too. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, we're, uh, we'll just get you caught right up to the minute here. It's fourth down and 11. The ball at the 26 yard line of Manesson. They're obviously going to punt the football. Riverview is sending Chamburo and Ertljack back at about their own 40 yard line. Keep and, in mind, uh, Manesson Joe has one time out if they right. need it. Jim Pedro is back. That's Mike Jim Pedro back to punt. Standing at his own 15. There's the kick. It's, well, it's going to look as though it's going to take a pretty decent bounce. It does. It rolls beyond the 45 at the 44-yard line. So a minute 15 left with uh, Riverview in possession in a tie game, 14 all. And uh, this baby is really another cliffhanger, which has really been part of... Uh, our weekend action, Bob, in playoffs. Boy, it has been. And uh, first weekend, Burl in triple overtime right. over East Allegheny. Then the, uh, the game this past Friday night. Last night. A doozy. Oh. All right, here we go. Belisario straight back looking and caught by Erdeljack out of bounds at the 46-yard line. And he had possession Close before. Close to a first down. He had possession before he uh, coughed it up. Completed pass at about the 46-yard line, not quite the 46. Yeah, the uh, ball came loose, but uh, he had possession. The ball came loose after he went out of bounds. Nine-yard gain. So it's not quite a first down. Second down and less than a yard. Clock is stopped with 59 seconds remaining as Valisario with no timeouts left this is uh, probably going to go to the air the entire time and here oh hurdle jack somebody uh, i think he did step out of bounds over here at about the 31 yard line so that automatically made him an ineligible receiver unless of course he was pushed out of bounds yep yep that's what happened that's what happened he got pushed out of bounds and the penalty will go against the Greyhounds of Manesson. So the Raiders with 52 seconds left are going to have the football at about the 36 yard line of Manesson. So the Raiders uh, got a couple of breaks here. This one on a, an incomplete pass, but holding was called against Manesson. So first and 10, the Raiders at the Greyhounds 36 yard line. Ballesterio ready, back he goes, looking, looking, throwing, almost oh. intercepted. Almost intercepted by Ronze Ford. Mm. Second and ten. Second and ten. The ball at the 36-yard line. I'd sure like to see another 10 yards or so and give Valisterio another shot at a field goal. It's that it's that kind of a year, Bob, that probably if we had another shot at it, maybe something good will happen. All right, second down and 10. Ball at the Manesson 36-yard line. Here is Valisterio. Looking, looking, throwing. It is caught by Arnold Jack. Oh, my, a one-handed grab. This guy is amazing. Arnold, we got to watch this one again. He's oh, at the brother. He's at the 10. Look at this. Watch the catch. Watch the pass. Ballesterio to Hurdle Jack, one-handed grab at about the 10-yard line. Boy, I've said it, Bob, since last year, this kid is a big-time football player. And before he's done, 
you'll realize what I'm saying. Well, what the Arnold Jack family is certainly a lot to be proud of with uh, this youngster. We can see that about the Boy, entire the river. Team, team, yeah, but. absolutely. All right, here we go. 41 seconds left in regulation. No timeouts, understand. Ernold Jack! Overthrown, incomplete. Ballesterio was dropped just as he let loose of that pass. That looks as though the uh, Raiders will probably get another chance at a field goal. They had a, an extra point that was blocked, which at the time looked as though it might uh, make a difference. They had a field goal that was dropped. It was uh, a relatively short field goal, a 30-yarder. And uh, they're probably going to have another opportunity before this uh, series ends. Unless, of course, uh, they screw up and let the clock run out before they do anything else. Here we go, 36 seconds. No timeouts for Riverview. Hurdle Jack back, throwing it uh, partially blocked, incomplete. Intended again for Hurdle Jack with 32 seconds left. We've got a third down coming up. And it was uh, blocked by uh, Brad Jones, I think, got a hand up there and nipped it. Incomplete, 32 seconds. Boy, it would have been nice if they had enough time to take a running play and just move it over into the center of the field. But I don't think they have, well, I know they don't have any time out. So maybe they can't do that. All right, Hurdle Jack go. down and in, Joe. Rolling out, throwing! It's caught by Heakins. He's at the four yard line, fumbles out of bounds. Fumbled out, ball, the ball was fumbled out of bounds and thank heaven. The ball is at the four. It does stop the clock with 23 seconds. And let's watch this. Oh, oh my goodness. Hang in there, Damien. There he goes. He's at the five-yard line. He's going to be hit, dropped. He was down anyhow, but of course, you don't know what would have been called. So it's a good thing it went out of bounds. And it's fourth down. They've got to try it again, Bob. No, they're not. Oh, they're going for no. six. No, no, no. Higgins! No, Balisario kept the he football. kept the ball. Well, Bob, I just don't understand that at all. I don't understand that at all. I realize that the extra point was blocked. I know that the field goal was blocked. But I just can't believe that, well. Clock starts. Can we see that again on the replay? All right, here we go. A fake to Heakins, Balisario keeps. And the tackle was made by Brian Lowther. We go to overtime. Bob, you know, I, I'll tell you what, I just, uh, I am absolutely speechless. You thought they were going to go for oh, the field goal. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, with all due respect to these coaches, they know a hell of a lot more about football in their sleep than I do wide awake. But I just can't understand how they didn't go for a field goal. It was not Belisario's fault that they didn't make a, an extra point or a field goal. They couldn't give them time to kick it. Maybe the same thing would have happened. But it's not going to hurt you that much. You've got to try it. He didn't do it. And, I, hey, he's going to be second-guessed, not just by me, but by a lot of people. And it's a shame because he's one of the outstanding coaches in high school football. But uh, that play, I just can't understand. Okay, Mike, give us some stats there as to what happened and why this ball game is not over with uh, Riverview winning at 17 to 14. No, the reason it's not over was because they had a blocked punt and a blocked extra point. <laughs> I think it's I think it scared him to death, and I didn't think he wanted to do it again. Uh, for uh, Manesson in the passing department, Chad Jan Pedro uh, was only two for nine, uh, 74 yards and two interceptions. Brad Jones was one for one passing for 48. 
and Mike Champedro was one for one for 14 yards. Josh Belzik is the leading ball carrier to this point for the Greyhounds. He had 17 carries and 76 yards in regulation. Tavius Smith, six carries and 11 yards. For the Raiders, Belisario, seven out of 13, 164 yards in the air. Most of that to Ertl Jack. Four uh, receptions for Ben, 91 yards. Ertl Jack's also run it uh, three times for 23. Tamburo has 11 carries and 30 yards. And uh, Damian Heakins, eight carries, 29 yards. For the uh, Raiders, and the Raiders, of course, tied the game in the second half uh, late. Uh, as uh, they scored with 114 left in the third quarter on Belisario's two-yard run and then the two-point uh, pass play that was complete to Ertljack on the juggle. And uh, the Raiders ended up tying this game at 14. And again, they had the blocked extra point when they scored the touchdown at the end of the first half. And the blocked field goal you know, with two and a half minutes to go in regulation as uh, Belisario tried that 31-yard field goal. And there, he, there's not even a chance. I mean, there's five and six white shirts on top of the tee before the ball's even had a chance to get off. And I think it spooked Jake, and that's why he didn't go for it. Well, just another one of those, uh, another one of those dull playoff games we got again here, guys. Uh, so uh, let's see if we can't bring home a winner, Joe. All right, Milo. Thanks for the report. And uh, <laughs> Bob, whatever, whoever wins the flip. We're we'll give it to the other team. The past, you got I'll, I'll take I'll, the first series. The first yeah, series? I'll, right. if you don't mind. Well, well whatever you want. You're, You're the boss. Right Gives me a chance to get <laughs> my uh, voice back because I right. am speechless. <laughs> I know. 14-14 in overtime. The uh, teams come out for the toss of the coin. Normally, the team that wins the toss elects uh, to defer and uh, watches what the other team does. Uh, a lot, a uh, lot rides on that. So here come the Raiders. Justin Papa, Zach Zrimsic, and Theo Fakaris come out for the toss of the coin. Raiders might be emotionally down now because they genuinely had opportunities in the last three minutes, four minutes, to win the ball game without a doubt. So. And as Joe had indicated earlier, if uh, Riverview wins here today, they meet what, uh, you know, Washington next week. I'm sorry, Farrell, Farrell next week for the single A championship. Burl will play Washington for the double A. And the AK Valley would have two teams out of the four championship games at Three Rivers next weekend. So the Raiders will have first shot at it. As Manesson won the toss, and uh, as we had indicated, they generally let the other team go. Obviously, nobody has gone. And the Raiders, in overtime, will have four opportunities from the 10-yard line. Now, if they commit a turnover, they don't get more chances. I mean, that, that ends their, their try at pay dirt. So you get four chances, but if they intercept or recover a fumble, that... Uh, nullifies your chances to continue unless the other team doesn't score either. Then, of course, it remains tied, and you go through the cycle again. So let's, uh, let's see what the Raiders can do. Four downs to go for the six. Here is Belisario looking. He fires. It is cut. By Erdeljack, and he's inside the five, down to about the four, perhaps the three-yard line. It is marked close to the three. So the pass caught by Erdeljack, as you witness here on the replay, three-yard line. So 
And again, the crowd for the Raiders, Joe, just uh, stunned, perhaps. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit they quiet. They are stunned, Bob. They, they are stunned. Second and goal from the three. We're in overtime. This is the first set of downs. Belisario hands off. Boy, they're close. Boy, are they close. Inside the uh, one. Ertle Jack carried. He is at the six-inch line. Ertle Jack carries. And he is down to the one-foot line. Third and goal. How about a sneaker here? How about a sneaker? Full sneak right up the middle. He got it. There it is. He's in. Belisario. No, no call yet. Belisario kept the football, and I thought he was going to get the call. Fourth down and inches. They are near the goal line, but not across. Let's watch it here, Bob. My goodness, you would think with all of that, of course. They, they all thought it was in. They all thought it was in. Brad Jones was tugging on him. Look, look where the ball is, Bob. Just look where the ball is. Jake Keppa here at the sideline. Fourth and goal. Come on, Raiders. Fourth and goal. Heakins and Erdeljack right behind the quarterback. He's Touchdown. He's in. He's in. He's in. The Raiders on their fourth try get the football in there. Now who scored? That's the. Uh, That's Erdeljack. There's Jack. Erdeljack. 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 All right, here he goes. Erdeljack gets it in for the six. Now here comes oh, the all important go, extra well, point. Go for two now. Absolutely, they're going to go for two. And there's no timeout, guys. You cannot call a timeout. It's 20 to 14, the Raiders. They're going to go for two. They may be penalized five yards, which in a passing play anyway, Joe, really doesn't matter. They take too much time. How do you know they're going to pass? They, uh, they put Belisario in there the last time they scored on the keeper. Here's uh, Belisario looking to throw. I believe it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Bonarotti. Bonarotti, yeah, yeah, I think he slipped. He slipped at the end zone, Bob. Slipped and fell in the end zone. So now, should Manesson score and get the extra point, they would win it 21-20. But let's see what happens. <clears throat> well. Sort of felt that might come down to this, and it sure did. So it's Vanessa's turn now. We're in the overtime. River, uh, Riverview has scored six points. Vanessa off the left side, and he is awfully close. My gosh. About an inch away, well, not an inch, but perhaps a foot away. And that, that is a play that's worked pretty much throughout the ball game. When uh, any play did work on the ground for Manesson, that was the one where they took it to run. their left side. And it's right at the goal line. signal yet. Well, they're un trying to unpile here and see what happens. He got it. Touchdown, Manessa. Well, here it is now. If they kick the extra oh, point. They'll kick the extra point, Bob. He's kicked, he's kicked two of them, and he kicked them very well. So we're tied at 20. So it uh, boils down to this. If the kick is good, Manessa wins it. If he misses, we continue to play. Well, Manesson calls a yep. timeout. And we'll just remind our folks that you're watching high school football on Comcast Cable Channel 3. Do what? Uh, just uh, checking in with Mike Pavlik on something here. 
So the uh, Madison Greyhounds have an opportunity here to win a point kick. And that kick will be tried by Mike Jan Pedro, who's uh, out there right now. And this could be it. If the kick is good, the Raiders will end the season with a record of 11 and 1. If the kick is no good, we go back to another round of overtime. So here's Jim Pedro to kick, and uh, Joe Holding is Chad Jim Pedro. Well, the brother combination. Mike is going to kick it. Chad will hold. High snap. The kick is up. The kick is good. And Manesson wins the game in overtime 21 to 20. And that's going to wrap things up here from Mount Lebanon. Congratulations to Riverview on a fine football season. They lose it here today, 21 to 20, but uh, they had a great season, finishing all overall with a record of 11 and 1. Manesson goes to 11 and 1, and they advance to play Farrell next weekend at uh, Three River Stadium. A special thank you to uh, Rich Relic, the athletic director here at Mount Lebanon, for his assisting on the uh, setting up with the Comcast crew. On behalf of Joe Falsetti and Mike Tablet, I'm Bob Tatton thanking you for joining us. Once again, our final score was Manessas 21 and Riverview 20. So long, everybody.